once again. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be showing you my absolute favorite functionality of it, of org mode. Or maybe the second favorite, I'm not sure. There's something I use virtually all the time. That's checklists. Okay, I oftentimes have something like this setup. Where I have a week, then a day, and I don't really have schedules or deadlines. I do things in random order. But what I do have is a list of things I need to get done. Okay? So what's going to happen is I have a list of items and I would like to, as I go through the day, check them off as done. Now I can do this with done and to do keywords or other keywords if I would like to, but there is no real reason for it. This is especially useful and a lot of people use it for like big tasks. So let's say this is just an example. So you have a big project that you're out working on and you have a specific feature branch on Git for I don't know, let's say GTK port or whatever. And you have I don't know learn GTK um, learn to write egg files, I don't know, something along those lines. And you all you really need is a schedule for the GTK point and a deadline for it and all those sub points you can just go and check off. Okay? So that's uh, that's it. What I have here is a slightly less ambitious one. Well that's okay, because we are going to learn how to turn those into check into a checklist. All you have to do is after a you know, bulleted signs so or after the hyphen, you need to add a curly, or not curly, those are square brackets, and put a space in there. That's all you need to do. Curly braces and a space. And you can see these are bold now, right? These are actually bold. And that's, that's, the, that's you know, showing you that it actually works. Let's save this. So, what else? Or what now? This doesn't really show you too much. If you move to an item, let's say, you know, let's say it's Monday and I got up, I could do Control C, Control C to check it off. That's it. I can use Control C, Control C again to actually, you know, maybe I still did not get up. Maybe I'm going right back to bed. Who knows? You can go throughout your day and check off items. You know, I keep such an org file in my buffer list and when I'm done with something I just come back to it and check off my tasks. So that's pretty nifty, right? That's actually pretty cool. Um, there is not much else to it. Actually there is one more thing that I need to show you because I think it's pretty cool. So you can go to the heading of your checklist and add something like, no, that's the other one, like this in here. Wait, do I need to hit? Yeah, just like this. Now you have an actual indicator of how many of these points you actually got done today. So you don't even, sometimes you don't even need to unravel this. You look like, you know, maybe, maybe you have all of them already done. And it's, it's wrapped like this. As you'll take a look at your week, you know, Monday was Monday was a day where you were productive. You got all your stuff done. So that's pretty cool. I like this a lot. There's another thing you can do, and which is these square brackets again, but a percent sign instead. And when you go and do stuff, you can have a percent um, indicator for your tasks. So that's pretty cool as well. You can do all of it and have this nice little indicator and I notice how when you get everything done it turns green so you know green and red are the org mode colors right they are it doesn't matter what theme you use these are the colors it uses well that's pretty nifty that's really all I want to show you in this short little video but you know these checklists they're pretty awesome I use them all the time I wish more people did it's really not one of those features that a lot of people use but it's really useful. So thank you for watching. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.